victory is in our hands. La OTAN les da la bienvenida al Dakar 2011. The program for this Thursday was stage 11 of the Dakar, maybe the last opportunity to make a difference for the contenders to a final victory in Buenos Aires. Originally, the stage was supposed to be 622 kilometers long with a 160 kilometer neutralized section, but the rain pushed the organizers to reduce it to 530 kilometers. No choice for Depre today, he had to attack. The trickler risked his all at the start of the special. At kilometer 58, he had managed to narrow the gap with Marcoma to 1 minute and 15 seconds. However, as they reached the neutralized section, none of the KTM riders was leading. The best provisional time was then held by Francisco Chaleco Lopez behind the Chilean Wessel Depré at 1 minute 30 and Marcoma at 3 minutes. And at the finish line in San Juan, the first to arrive was Cyril Desprez. The Frenchman has done great in the last part of the special stage. In second and third were Mark Coma and Francisco Chaleco Lopez. Yet Coma is still leading the general classification, 15 minutes and 58 seconds clear of Desprez. Mark Coma is therefore in a very good position to win this 2011 Dakar, unlike his compatriot Carlos Sainz. The Volkswagen driver has had an awful day. It started well for him as he was leading at kilometer 124, but he practically lost his chance to win at kilometer 410. He seemed to have broken the front right suspension on his Touareg. Nasser Alatia didn't hesitate to take his chance. He was the overall leader this morning. The Qatari's position was then even more comfortable. 90 kilometers from the finish line, he made the break as he was leading ahead of Stefan Peterancel, 1 minute and 31 seconds adrift, and his Volkswagen teammate, Ginelle de Villiers, at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. The same three men were there at the end in the same order. The stage was won by Nasser Alatia, followed by Peter Rancel and de Villiers. In the meantime, Carlos Sainz was finally able to drive off after one hour and nine minutes at a standstill. All the lights are green for Alatia. If nothing bad happens for him, the Qatari should win the 33rd edition of the Dakar.